Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. As is uh, typical here, we're having great runs, uh, probably to have one shitty run thrown in the middle and ruin our streak. SWGQ Summer Whammies Gone Quick E7AY. We got uh, Harlequin Baby and Book of Belial. Harlequin Baby is the weirdest looking icon. It's like a baby with a fly for a head, but anyway. Uh, Book of Belial's awesome. Oh, piercing shots. We even have a spirit heart to protect us right now. So, I'm not even stressing out. I, like, the spirit heart is great for survivability's sake, but we don't need it to guarantee us a deal with the devil, of course, because we have... Say it with me. Book of Belial. So, this is a really, really, really nice starting run. This is a run to start with, I should say, even though it's a functionally similar things. But um, we we really only need one ingredient to make this run great. HP. If we get HP, we have a, a very strong chance to convert that HP into good items on deals with the devil. All we need is for that HP to drop and give us the, the chance to basically take those items as they show up. 48 hour energy is a, a good drop here. We got another item room too. If it's as good as the piercing shots were, it might be... Um, this is, this Monstro's Lung Pickup, in case you're just listening and wa not watching, um, it's, it's very interesting. I, I can't imagine that our, like, our damage in bursts is going to be absurd. Our rate of fire is going to be lower, so I don't know how this affects our DPS, but I'm really thrilled that we have a great synergy here to base this run on. That's alright, we got bad trip there. Um, I was trying to take a pill over to a, uh, a tinted rock. I don't know why I'm talking as if I'm closed captioning the videos, but I guess if you're watching like that, then that's that's cool for you. Um, and uh, it ended up not being explosive diarrhea. It ended up being bad trip. But no matter where you take bad trip, it's bad. Explosive diarrhea could have been great there. So I'm not going to stress out about it too much. And I think it's a testament to how good this run looks right now that we don't feel weird. Oh, there was a tinted rock in there in that poop, uh, but I don't feel weird about going to the curse room, I don't feel weird about not using Book of Belial on that big room, because we're already super overpowered here, at least for the enemies that we're going to be fighting right now. We are going to need uh, damage and, and in particular rate of fire upgrades to hang on some of these rooms that are going to come later, even as early as the next floor. Enemies that chase us down are going to be a little, little touch and go, but uh, really wanted Harlequin Baby to kill one there. But as is right now, we're, we're not very far away from having a, a run that is insanely good. All we need is, uh, well, some bombs wouldn't hurt, so we'd have a chance to get smaller rock. Uh, that was, what was I thinking on that one? But, uh, yeah, good rate of fire. And, of course, you know, if we could start uh, that guppy dream, that would be lovely. Bomb. Nope. Got another key. Great for our next floor. Not so great for us immediately here. I, I'm already guilty. This is how you know the run's all right. I'm already guilty of not using Book of Belial as much as I should. Now, a lot of people would say that's a bad thing, and they would predominantly be correct. But it's kind of a good sign as well. Because if I'm not using Book of Belial, that means I don't feel like I need to use Book of Belial. Alright. We got two bosses coming here. Pin's gonna be fine. We don't need to use Book of Belial here, so we can just save it for the second boss. One Monstro's Lung Shot on Pin took off like 98% of his HP. Little Steven, not really the get that you want to get there, but that's okay. And we're lucky enough to be fighting the Widow with our second play here. One Book of Belial Shot on the Widow takes off like half. And there you go. We are good to go. Old bandage for a little extra HP and Gimpy. It's a it's a very I don't want to say classic, but like standard kind of first floor deal with the devil setup. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave. Uh, second floor deal with the devil shed, uh, setup. I guess I technically should say, but um, yeah, we didn't get super overpowered or anything like that. But we got HP and then immediately traded it away for an item that is not necessarily incredibly fantastic, but does give us deal with the devil precedent. Which I guess now that I think about it. Um, well, you no, know, you can think about it two ways. Either it doesn't matter at all because we have Book of Belial, or it matters a ton because we want Book of Belial to give us uh, deals with the devil instead of deals with the angels. So, uh, I'm I'm happy with the pickup. And of course, if our luck stack goes through the roof, you know, blood banks all of a sudden become like engines for us to uh, get spirit hearts from. IV bag can become really useful even if it shows up out of a blood bank when we wanted a blood bag and we don't take it with us because we have Book of Belial already. Um, yeah, this is uh, it's it's decent. Also, we look ridiculous in this mask right now, so I'm quite fond of that. How do I feel about boss rush? Like, it, it certainly seems like we're going to have a chance at it on this run. I love I posed that as if there was a question from the chat. It is not a question from the chat. I'm not streaming right now. But, uh... Oh no, they figured out my secret. I stream all my Isaac episodes to a clandestine Twitch channel to get, you know, double the bang for my buck. I'm also twitch.tv slash 2k. 
Um, okay. We're gonna try pills. I can see forever. Great. I found pills. Eh. Speed down. Quite poor, but uh, we can live with it. And we got push pin. It's fine. Occasional spectral tears. And hematomesis. If nothing else, we learned a lot about the world around us, and that's important. Um, the speed downgrade is not as bad as the speed downgrade on the last run because we actually can, uh, you know, keep ourselves afloat here. Second secret room pays out with a demon heart, which keeps us, you know, in in the money, basically. We have enough HP to take a deal with the devil, but I'm kind of in that nice zone where I'm like, ah, I really thought we could sneak by him. Um, I'm in that nice zone where I'm like, if you give me a Krampus fight, I could live with the Krampus fight. If you give me a, um... If you give me a deal with the devil, I could take a deal with the devil. I could take two deals with the devil, potentially. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty... I'm versatile right now. I'm easy. Now, we are gonna get rid of Pushpin. Pushpin was, like, worthwhile, because it did give us occasional spectral tears, even though we already have piercing shots, but, um... Flat Penny is going to be a better selection for us, especially if we can get, like, a Guppy's Tail and or a Mom's Key. Oh! Okay, a little scary. Get an Orbital, of course, from Pestilence. Ball of Bandages, and we got a triple deal here. Unfortunately, I only want one of the items, but we'll take Pentagram, Shovel, and uh, Necronomicon. They can wait for the, the next person. I'll leave them behind. That would be cool, like a Binding of Isaac relay race, where like the next person comes through behind you, so you've got to give them items. It's not really a relay race at that point; it's more like an anti-competition. But you know, you got to take enough items to succeed, but leave enough so that your partner can finish as well. That would be kind of cool. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. People are always like, "Hey, Northern Line, you're learning to program. Why don't you just make it?" Yo, it's not that easy, man. I am uh, learning to program. Things are going, you know, things are going well. I've been learning for a few months. I can fizz buzz in my language of choice, no problem. I can reverse a string, you know, using a variety of different loops. Piggy bank I'm not so stoked about, but it does synergize well with Gimpy if we come across a blood bank or something. Um, but, you know, making games, man, you don't even realize. Well, many of you probably do realize, but if you don't, you don't even realize the, the amount of skills required. As I've been making these, like, shitty desktop applications where the code is so bad that I don't even want to release it like on GitHub or anything like that. I have a newfound appreciation for people who are like, well, I just, I made my own game. I did all the art, all the music, uh, all the all the physics. Uh, I animated it. Uh, I did the programming, of course, and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh my god. You're a, a wunderkind. Once in a lifetime. How did you do it? Um, I mean, obviously, you know, they're talented, but also they've got practice, but uh, it's it's ridiculous, man. The, the kinds of skills some some uh, developers have. Not just any developers, but obviously developers that work at huge companies as well. 48-hour uh, energy. I, I want to, like, stars out of this room. I wanted to get that pill first. Uh, yeah, it was well worth it. 48-hour energy, I don't value that much, honestly. I know that we could have used the stars for something better, but 48-hour energy, I don't value that much with Book of Belial. We're actually in a bit of a weird spot where I'm like... Let's not die. Uh, I'm slightly concerned about our chance for death. But we got another Spirit Hearts, and um, we're making good time, which means we can afford to slow down, which is very important if we want to do that. Um, if we want to succeed as well as we possibly can. We know we're getting deals with the Devil. All we need is one good defensive item or one good defensive deal with the Devil to feel like we're in control of this run again. A Nine Lives pickup, for example. Um, well, I mean, one bomb for a Black Heart is well worth it here. I forgot... Or didn't notice, rather, that there was a tinted rock over here. This would be awesome if it was a small rock. It was a bomb and a spirit heart, which is really good as well. Um, I still would love some tears ups. We're a little bit low on the fire rate with Monstro's Lung. It's fairly standard with, with Monstro's Lung, of course. Let me take this time to say to myself, Self, if Eve's Mascara shows up, please think twice about picking it up. You don't have to not pick it up. But your fire rate is going to suck so bad. It would be in your best interest to, uh, to maybe at least give it, a, give it a second thought. Let's put it that way. Golden key is good. On rooms like that, I should start thinking about using uh, Book of Belial. I mean, there's really no reason not to. We have it available, but I can be silly sometimes. I'm, I'm saving it for like this mythical, more difficult room that doesn't even necessarily exist. Keys and money coming fast and furious here. 
it, it's very helpful that they all, you know, alliterate with well with one another. I don't know if you can use alliterate as a verb like that, but I'm going to, and you know what I mean, so as far as I'm concerned, we just created a new word. Boom, Shakespeare, bitch. I just, I just called the English language a bitch. That's because I don't give a shit about anything. I'm the baddest kid in my ninth grade English class. Okay. Just hang back. We got a great chance to beat the husk without getting hit. We know we're due for a deal with the devil. Feels like a Krampo to me. Feels like we got Krampus waiting, uh, waiting in the wings here. Third deal with the devil when we would love some DPS. No Krampus. Okay. Well, it's a bit of a touchy one because we still haven't gotten HP. But I'll take a little Brimstone. Little Brimstone. Considering we also have uh, charge shots, I think little Brimstone's good. We got toothpicks, I should mention, out of the... Oh, thank you. I got toothpicks out of um, the boss fight, so... Oh, and skinny on mushroom. Oh my god. So our fire rate is so much better now. I don't really want to take little baggy, which was our item on the shop, I think. I'll just buy the spirit heart and then be on my merry way, I think. Still waiting on that one defensive item that uh, I asked for a little while ago, but... It's not like by asking for it, I'm necessarily entitled to receive it. You know, we still gotta you know wait for the RNG to work itself out. But now, our fire rate is so good, I'm feeling great, and I'm feeling like, you know, we're so far ahead of the curve for boss rush, we would be stupid not to explore. We're not stupid, we'd be lazy not to explore. I'm, I'm more guilty of being lazy than stupid, I think. I, although I have done some stupid things. I, I recognize that I, I have like the ultimate characteristic of, of a dork, maybe? I'm trying not to get into the nerd subclasses of, you know, nerd, dork, geek. Point Dexter, etc., etc. But I'm like, if you present me with a complicated problem, I've been noticing this as I've been doing programming. I'm actually fairly adept at solving it. I'll be like, okay, let's break down this problem into, uh, you know, a series of smaller modules, and then we'll figure out, you know, logically speaking, how to solve each of those smaller modules, um, and then we'll, we'll put the whole solution together. Not that I'm, you know, some kind of super genius in that regard or anything like that. It's just, it's the way I solve problems, and it's it's a way that is conducive when you've got, uh, hey, uh, you got, you know, like a problem that does well when it's broken into smaller steps. But sometimes I'll just, like, you know, Kate will be like, why did you put the dish towel, like, in the bathroom cupboard? I'm just like, I don't know. It's a towel. Cupboard is covered. <laughs> like, I've, I've got a weird kind of, of unintelligence for certain things. Like shapes, man. Shapes make no sense to me. If you if you gave me like a, a jigsaw puzzle and asked me to put it together, I I would try, but we would be there for days. I would I would end with staring at you uncomfortably, uh, and and we would not get along very well. Finally, a good chance to use a uh, chemotemesis like this. So that's gonna take us up to like three. No, just two, unfortunately. But um, still, two HP out of that situation is lovely. Um, that's the kind of stupid that I am. Also, sometimes I stupidly keep talking when I should be paying attention to the game and costing me some silly plays here. I'm not fishing for compliments on my intelligence, by the way. Um, that would be very sad, but I do appreciate your support nonetheless. Um, wouldn't be sad for you to compliment me. That's a very nice thing to do. I think it shows you're in a good position in your life that you can compliment others. It would be sad for me to ask. It's sad that I even have to. Um, great. Great. Would have been a better joke if I didn't end that with an um, but either way, you know, the dream is alive. This was a uh, very subpar dodging, and that would have been almost as bad, but we made it out. How's our timing looking right now? We're at 12 minutes and got down to the depths part one, and our damage is better than it's ever been, so I would be expecting uh, to, to probably have a crack at boss rush here. Uh, why, is, why is that door not opening? Am I missing something? I, I seem to be very confused about why this door is not opening. Okay, Infestation 2 makes it all worthwhile, but I'm still going to keep talking in this voice because I'm a little ornery about the whole situation. Hoping that was a teleportation card because Boss Rush is, uh, you know, definitely a possibility here. This is some of the dumbest damage I've taken uh, consistently in a few runs. I don't want to say in a long time because, you know, that's just a lie, but uh, in a long time. Or <laughs> in a few runs. There we go. Okay, so Infestation 2 is magnificent. If we could maybe get a uh, Hive Mind like we had on the last run, even better. We know that we've got to deal with the Devil coming, and we actually have Red Hearts that we can use to get it, but at some point you got to figure we're paying the Krampus tax. And if it's this floor, it's this floor. You know, we're in a good enough position that I can't really be salty about it. 
Probably do want to donate on this floor as well, just so that we get those donations in before the possibility of fighting Greed shows up on the next floor. And let's fight the adversary here, and we can see that he died very, very quickly. Makes our life very, very simple. Torn Photo is awesome, and Guppy Items. Guppy Items, Guppy Items, no Guppy Items. Three red chests deal with the devil. As always, a massive disappointment, but... Well, as often, a massive disappointment, but we're fine. We're like three and a half minutes ahead of schedule for Boss Rush here. Feeling good, and there's uh, very few ways that this run gets squandered outside of uh, maybe the unfortunate plausibility. I'm just going to go. Uh, the unfortunate plausibility of getting a uh, D6 or D1 room. Those could throw me for a loop here. But they're basically as likely to give you an overpowered run as they are to give you a run that you can't win with, so... I uh, can't even count that out, but it's, it is dependent on random chance at that point. Okay. Plenty of bombs, not that it's necessary. Enough for Tinted Rocks and enough to hopefully crack some skulls here so I can actually have a pretty good chance of getting through our boss rush room without having to fight it. Although, I do think we're just about borderline feeling confident enough to fight in that boss trap room because I... Uh, four... Freaking bombs, four freaking jerk turret dudes. They probably have a better name than that in the actual text, but you get the idea. Um, but I'm feeling like almost strong enough to take on that boss trap room. And that might even be sandbagging a little bit, like we might be completely strong enough to take it on. I'm just a little bit worried about dumb damage in the form of HP. You know, it's a long room. Things can happen. We do need these bombs, apparently. This is actually a very easy room. Looks big, but there's only these three guys, and like two spiders is enough to kill them. Probably do not need our 20th key, but that's alright. We found our boss room already. We've also found a number of opportunities to blow up skulls. Working out fantastically so far. Well, we don't need to fight right now, but I would like to get a teleport card. Empress? Empress is good enough to carry into that boss fight if we ever actually, or the boss trap I should say, if we ever want to. But for now, we'll look for another means of teleportation because this is shit, basically. Alright. Might play this judgment that's back here. Want to save our money for the shop just in case there's a hive mind, though. I mean, the, the spider army behind me might turn on me if I don't at least look for hive mind before spending all our money. The fool, that is our teleportation card. Let's go handle this nonsense and then we can move on. We can see if it's even worth uh, talking about, boss rush here. It might be shit. But uh, one thing's for sure, I'm not going to do it if I don't have the uh, necessity to do it because we do have, you know, only 6 HP. Things could go wrong relatively quickly, as you saw from me taking very stupid damage. So we might as well use Book of Belial uh, against Mom. That was dumb. Uh, we might as well use Book of Belial against Mom because I am uh, not going to do Boss Rush. I'm just going to be at Boss Rush. We take the Polaroid because I'm a little scared, only slightly. And then we take, uh, oh yeah, um, we take both of these, even though we don't need the goat head, now that gives us the option to replace it in the future. And we take dead cat, so we basically got goat head for free there. I think I'm gonna, yeah, okay, I'm going to forget me now this whole floor. I'm gonna lose Book of Bilal to do it, but this gives me a chance of getting a second boss rush, and we're pretty much right on schedule for it. Also a second deal with the devil because of goat head, so... I'm thinking that actually, I might have made the wrong decision there, but we had to act pretty fast. Um, I'm thinking that this is pretty sweet as long as we can actually make it happen. Even if it doesn't work out, we still got a second item room. Although I don't know if I even got the item room on that floor. Um, and we still got a second uh, shop. So I, you know, I, I kind of, I had my hand forced there. I didn't expect to find myself in that situation. You know, it's like when you go out for dinner. Or lunch, but you end up getting like day drunk instead by accident because you had one too many beers, and by then your judgment is, uh, you know, too messed up for you to be like, well, I really should like go home and change or something like that. And then you end up, you know, you got the same clothes on at like, you know, 10 p.m. You had on at 7 a.m. when you went out for lunch. Okay, obviously the timeline there is a little bit fudged up, but work with me. Um, let's try. Mom's coin purse, sure. Magic fingers. I don't know why I said it like that. Magic fingers. Might as well. Um, we don't have very much money, but Magic Fingers is a space bar item, which we were lacking, so there is that. At the very least, it's going to be a weird run. I think we should be able to hit double boss rush. We had enough time. 
Should have had enough time, I should say. Because you never know. I don't know. Do I take the negative now? So no matter which direction I go, I, I should be fine? Or does one of them replace the other one? I mean, I can't imagine it would, but... It's possible. Wouldn't it be great if we found, like, uh, Forget Me Now in there again? I don't think we can swing another one. That's okay, though. Okay. Got regular mom. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer fight, probably. Because we don't have Book of Belial. And, of course, it, I'm an idiot because it was actually shorter. Take the Polaroid again because I'm an idiot and didn't follow through with taking the negative. And no guppy items. And inside of our boss rush, unfortunately, we have four question marks. To crack the sky, man. That's a huge disappointment. With nine lives, I'm kind of like, maybe we should actually just fight all the enemies. You know, we're going to generate a decent amount of spiders. Probably won't take that much damage and we'll get another item at the end of it. I'm, I'm losing my desire to do this immediately. Why take magic fingers over Crack the Sky? Because if we get a lot of money, it has the potential to be kind of cooler. Crack the Sky is just... Crack the Sky is Crack the Sky is Crack the Sky, right? Like... I forgot we can't fly. This has the potential to be a little bit more interesting, I think. So, did, did our Gambit work out that well for us? No, smartass, it didn't really. But it was fun. We got two boss rushes. Out of both of them, we got zero items, so that's pretty exciting. Notched axe. Well, you know, it's an opportunity to use it once here. Hey, hopefully dry baby. Ghost baby, just like I asked for. All right, let's get a move on here. I mean, this is an interesting run. I, I think you have to pretty much admit that right now. We're uh, we're in a weird spot. Should be pretty easy to succeed but we got low HP but we've got uh, you know the goat head but our damage is not necessarily that strong yeah but we have nine lives so you know you gotta weigh that in the equation there's all sorts of positives and negatives and in my limited experience positives and negatives like this kind of balancing each other out means that we have uh, well that's good for the chest or the cathedral uh, means that our actual play is gonna play a major role in whether or not we're able to succeed here so this should be interesting I'm interested, at the very least. And we don't have mapping. Was that last run we had mapping? I thought we had a compass or something on this run, but I did the last run and this run in quick succession, so that might do it. The spiders are our lifeblood right now. That's very tempting. I think we're going to have to do it. Yeah, worth it. One guppy item is worth it. I don't think we're guppy yet. I don't think we picked up any other guppy items. No. But still, we got 41 keys and flat penny, so I can't be sad about this. And we're so much closer to becoming Guppy. We've got a Joker card for the Cathedral of the Chest, and we've got a um, uh, we've got a guaranteed deal with the Devil on this floor. Now, one of those could be Krampus, one of those could be three red chests. But I, I feel like we're pretty good. Uh, well, we've got a much better chance than we had before we entered this room. Let's put it that way of making the Guppy dream come true here. So I'm pretty excited. Monstro's lung having a pretty high. You know, charge time feels a little bit... Not that it's not not that it's that long right now, given our items, but uh, feels a lot better if every time we, uh, you know, spit it, we get uh, 10 flies and 10 spiders. I don't know what happened there. Justice, yeah, we'll pop it. And that as well. Looking for tinted rocks, not seeing them, though. All right. Very fast run. Two mom fights done already, and yet we're not on the cathedral. What an incredible mind trap riddle. I said mind trap, not Minecraft. I don't know what that joke is supposed to mean, but maybe you got a chuckle out of like 0.1% of the people watching the episode, and God damn it, if I just make one person laugh, that's the only thing that matters. Stop hitting, stop hitting it. Thank you for the spirit hearts. Probably more valuable than... Uh, Small Rock would be at this point. The fact that we haven't gotten Small Rock makes me think that we've actually gotten Small Rock and I just didn't notice because we've really had a lot of opportunities to to get Small Rock. It's possible that it hasn't showed up, but it seems like I'm probably missing something. I'm missing a little bit of the screen space just due to the sheer number of freaking Spider Bros we got going on here, but I'm happy about it. That's the difference. Oh, pop up, please. I farkin' dare ya. Basically, no chance. I know I'm skipping chess. That's the Northern Lion, like, call for, like, this run's going well. 
It's like the Bill Gates, you know, leaving a $100 bill on the ground because it would actually cost him more money to pick it up if it's going to keep him away from his office for 10 seconds, you know? Or, you know, the, the wear and tear on his knees is not worth it. But, I mean, basically what I'm getting at is, what do we need right now? Bombs? We're never going to use them. Unless we come across, like, a, more tinted rocks than we know what to do with. Keys? We got a lot. We could get a bombs or key pill, but still, we're probably fine. Um, we're, we're in a great spot. It's just HP. If there's spirit arts on the ground, I should go back for those. Uh, sucks that didn't work out the way I wanted, but whatever. We got to keep our Joker card with us, of course. So we were hoping for any guppy item at all. Any guppy item at all. Thinking that Mr. Fred is probably more like Mr. Fucked. Spiders have taken over his entire arena in mere moments. And we're done. Placenta's fine. Uh, let's, let's not take it yet just to see how this looks. Okay, so that's our Krampus fight. Had a feeling it could happen. Life goes on. This means we will be taking Placenta. Um... Sounds like a great name for like a 90s alt-rock band. I'm not taking Krampus's head because I kind of like the idea with our high damage of being able to use magic fingers. But mostly it's just because our damage is good enough that, um, you know, Krampus's head is not insurance for us because we don't need insurance. It's like, you know, getting life insurance if you're immortal. It's not necessary probably, but I, I'm not in the insurance biz. So, uh, you know, that's uh, it's not really my area of expertise. On a big room, you don't really get a feel for how many spiders we have. On a small room, you're like, oh, shit. We gotta call an exterminator. But these are friendly spiders. As are many spiders, or so I've heard. Pardon me? How did I not pick this up? I think the spiders are messing with me a little bit. Like, either it's causing, like, a, an optical illusion, or it's causing some, like, freaking digital occlusion, you know? I, uh, I'm on top of the model for the key, but it's not working because there's like 10 spider models that are taking up the collider or something like that. I don't know. Scumbag Northern Lion, you know, is like a basic level programmer and is all of a sudden talking like he's John Carmack over here. Eh, pretty much. You, you, you got me. I was trying to come across smarter than I am. Total point Dexter move. That was not very smart. Uh, but we got to pay out from Gimpy anyway. Oh, this is it. This is it. What? Luchini pouring from the sky. Let's lose all of our spirit arts for no reason. Oh, that's not very good. Oh, baby! The new Tim Hortons back bacon sandwich. With two slices of thick Canadian... Okay, I'm gonna stop that, but that is a commercial in Canada right now. I was trying to play hard to my Canadian demo. You play hard to the Canadian demo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Order the back bacon and egg. Bacon and egg. Watch me unravel. 2,000 milligrams of sodium. Lying on the floor, lying on the floor. I come undone. You know, yeah, man, those, that 30 seconds I got to sing that was the best 30 seconds of my day, so don't take that away from me. Hematomasis. Uh, lover's card. Definitely we're going Joker. What do we need AAA battery for in this situation, right? Like, we got magic fingers. If I had magic fingers, I wouldn't need a AAA battery. I'd need some magic gloves, probably. Great. Uh, this key... This chest could be meaningful. It is somewhat meaningful. All right, plan the parade. A single spirit heart helps out a great deal, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. I say a girl's breast friend, because that was not my intention. Thank you. Okay, sneak some more in here. This is good, and we're scared, and now we're fine. Okay, so we're going to Joker card immediately on the next floor, because we could get a... Um, uh, we could get a red chest on the next floor that teleports us to that, or the deal with the devil, I should say. Or we could get a, um, wow, that was terrible. Uh, we could get Undefined, which could teleport us to it, or we could get another Joker card, which could teleport us to it. There's a lot of different ways we could teleport to that deal with the devil on the next floor. So, I'm disappointed the Guppy Dream hasn't come to fruition yet, but there could be a curse room here. You know, that has happened many times in the past. Why are we spawning so many spiders from Infestation 2? I gotta try, right? Oh! That was very unexpected. Oh! Okay, what if we charge up Monster's Lung all the way? It doesn't really work, but I'm assuming it does from a damage perspective. So we're gonna rock with this. Okay, no, we're gonna rock with this is what I mean. 
Um, that is cool, man. I think that now we're we're rocking out McConaughey style, which is, uh, you know, a little high on pot with a bongo with a couple of your buddies. Pretty tasteful, all things considered, as long as they're not annoying the neighbors too much. Yeah, this, this damage is very good. You might not enjoy the Tammy's head action too much, but I really do. No, f no spiders from the boss kill there? It seems a little suspicious if you ask me. Very convenient game. I can't believe we actually completed the Guppy Dream in such a strange turn of events. It happens from time to time in stranger situations. Like, there's been times I've been on, like, the cathedral and gotten a three red chest room that has two guppy items in it. But it's rare, man. To have it happen like this was uh, a big surprise. We're getting so many random spirit hearts. It's making it, like, this run could have been a little scarier or a lot scarier even if I just didn't get so many freaking uh, amazing golden chests paying out with spirit hearts for reasons unbeknownst. Another great name for uh, an alt-rock band from the mid-90s. This is Reasons Unbeknownst playing their major label debut and also smash number one hit. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, oh, yeah! That was more Metallica than, uh, than I meant it to be. It's not supposed to be Metallica. It was more of like a, um, no disrespect meant, but more of like a Chris Cornell type thing. But I, I can't make my voice do the thing he does where it's like, Aah! you know, I am the, ha! I can't do it. I wish I could. Down to the next floor. Should be an easy win here. Um, we got Guppy and Spider Guppy, basically. Monstro's lung, piercing shots. This is great stuff. Even got a basically a full health pill. Yeah, we'll take Ipecac because it's going to be fucked up and Taurus is going to be weird and that's why we're going to take that too. Um, I'm assuming this is just like a stupid amount of damage. Also, it's going to make Guppy's or Tammy's head just absolute garbage. Which is cool because that's, uh, that's fun. Oh, no, on the fine. Yes, we must. Oh, God, they gave me an error room. The dream can exist in earnest now. Okay, so we just... Undefined as much as possible and try to make this into the greatest run that humanity has ever seen. Oh, baby! I don't really... Th oh, Jesus. Cricket's body is going to be terrible. I love it. Leech, chocolate milk, I don't even understand. Maybe it just makes our charge time much longer. Yeah, it seems like easy, man. Let me miss that. No. Uh, we're going to... I think we're going to hit ourselves once per room. But we're also going to spawn enough... Sp flies and spiders to kill enemies without being scared at all, you know? Oh, we just healed through uh, Leech there, I think. It's very strange to be in this situation, but it's also absurd damage. Um, one of the few enemies who's going to be extremely annoying to us in this situation is this guy. Took like half of our spiders, didn't spit out as many as I would have liked. Thought maybe Secret Room... Thought maybe secret room. I didn't even get a chance to do anything there. Oh, we did it! Okay, another guppy item. And this is a cool secret room, because there's air, air room, I should say, because we get all sorts of HP-related upgrades on it. I'm not going to do this run forever, probably, but I'll, I'll do it for a while here. Eventually, we're probably going to hit the boss fight before uh, doing things. I know I said give it a second thought. I gave it a second thought and was like, you know what? If we're killing everything in one hit regardless, it probably doesn't matter that much. Um that we, uh, our rate of fire is going to be bad. So I'm happy with this. And our damage is just disgusting. Spider bite, that's helpful. I'm not even going to talk about the fact that I got hit on that room. Because again, can't stress enough, we are going to get hit on probably almost every single room. But, you know, that's that's part of the thrill of this run right now. It is, this is a lot of fun in its own strange way. Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. Tiny planet, the more the merrier. Let's get fucked up. That's our second virus in, like, as many rooms. Not even going to touch that one. I will touch this one. All right, uh, another error room, please. I desire one of your finest error rooms, good sir. I don't think it's possible for us to take damage more than twice on a room unless it's completely deliberate. Just get out, man. Fuck that room. There's an eternal heart, apparently. I had no idea. Like, every time we get hit, 
all enemies will be dead by the time the damage is gone, I think. Yeah, but basically, pretty close. Lazarus Rags, who knows, may end up being important. I hope not, but you never know. Oh, you actually survived longer than expected. Look at how freaking large these Doritos are, man. We're getting a lot of red heart drops as well. Oh, because we have old bandage, of course. Now we really need to keep going until we get, like, sad bombs. Ah, oh, that is not an error room, you scumbags. 48 hour energy, yes! That's an error room. Oh, yeah, get mom's contact or mom's eye, sorry. That's gonna make it even sillier. Get some more Ipecac shots in the air. What could go wrong? That's pretty good, actually. All right, down to the next floor. Capricorn helping us out. The extra HP we're getting on the regular is pretty important. Curse of the Unknown. Slightly scary. Oh, the Parasite's really gonna help us out, though, so I'm a huge fan of that. All right. Let's do it. Yep. Prepare to take damage. It's it's going to happen. I need this. I need this. Just get some shots in the air. It's the only thing that matters. And then run around in the circle. Oh, the slowdown. Taurus! Taurus worked! Have we killed everything? There's still something? Oh my god. Famine just hiding out in the corner survived. If we lose this life and come back with 1 HP, things are going to be very interesting. Thank you, Gimpy. Thank you, old bandage. Oh, there's Taurus again. It was a very strange run. Gotta take this, obviously. Uh, okay. Fantastic. But I still don't want this one to end yet. Possibly might make this run so good we can't even win with it. I know that sounds ridiculous. Virgo, exclusively good pills. Help. That is not helpful. That's gonna take us almost back to full HP though, and uh, if that was bloody lust, man, our damage would get so ridiculous. Help, help, help. <laughs> ah! Take him out, take him out. How are these shots not hitting? I don't even understand this anymore. I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's impossible to tell why I'm being hit. Oh my god, Spoonbender. I don't even understand how this will factor into things. But I guess I'm happy for it because mo more shots will stay away from me. This is not an error room and I'm starting to get a little nervous. I'm not ready for this one to be done yet. There's a chest in there, wasn't it? I thought I heard a chest. Um, great stuff. No money equals power, but we'll take like our eighth quarter. Fine by me. Eighth quarter, also a pretty good name for an Aldrock band. Okay. That is a dead end. I kind of had a feeling it would be because it looks like we're getting pretty close to being at the end of the floor here. We're going to get at least one more chance to make this happen. We know this for a fact because of the... Uh, well, the fact that there's two rooms adjacent to this one doesn't hurt, but also, there's got to be at least one room, then the boss fight. As long as it has combat, we're going to be able to get a recharge. Somehow still alive here. Oh, we made it happen! I'm so happy! Oh, PhD is good. Get some extra HP out of it. Little Gish is good. Not that it matters. Loki's horns is ridiculous. I love it. And we'll get our HP, and we'll get Pretty Fly. We don't need Monster Man. Well, down to the next floor. All right, I can't believe we've managed to stay alive here. HP is really good, actually. But, I mean, it's going to change pretty quickly. Uh, sure, 99 bombs. Mom's contact is fine by me. Little Chad is absolutely necessary. Or, it's going to help out a lot. Let's put it that way. I would really rather not do that room if I don't have to. Fantastic. It'll take a little bit of damage every room, that's okay. We're, we're healing up a little bit every room as well, hilariously enough. I can't get away. This is like Loki's Horns uh, madness. Loki's Horns and Mom's Eye madness. Uh, yeah, it's good. Got like our eighth yum heart. Oh, gotta check this. Kamikaze. Interesting, but... Strictly unnecessary at this point. 
Why not, right? We're not dodging shots anyway. Let's take Isaac's heart. Make this run completely ridiculous. I can't hit the corner. It's like a DVD screensaver. Oh, just blow it up, please. Let me out. This damage is so ridiculous. We're going from like zero to spider in no seconds flat. There's a chest. Yeah, Peeper's Eye. That's going to help out a great deal. Um, what's kind of hilarious about this is that we're like one Pyromaniac pickup away from this being like the most potent run I've had in my whole life. Obviously, we're going to kill Blue Baby just to see how long it takes. Uh, about that long is the answer. Um, and now we know we're fine to leave if we want to, but I don't want to leave yet. I, I don't want to close my eyes because I miss you, baby, and I don't want to miss a thing. Because even when I dream of you, the sweetest dreams, they just never do me. And I just miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Still 34 keys as well. And there's full HP again. Come on, work with me. Oh, we did it! That is right, I did it! Number five, are you kidding? We get to do this one more time. This might be my final trip around the sun here. I'm ready. Curse of the maze. Technology. Is that going to fuck with our run? Yes. Uh, I love it, though. So we're. this is it. This is going to be it for us. Look at this, though. Look at this. You will never get this. You might get this if you play this seed. Just follow the steps that I, that I took here and... I think you're pretty much mathematically guaranteed. I was just quoting Borat. I wasn't trying to be a dick. I could actually use speed, weirdly enough. Um, I don't know how we make this run weirder than this. Like, I, I don't know what tier effects could actually pop up to, to even do it. So, I'm not going to sweat it too much. I would like to get to the uh, boss fight, if possible. We get Taurus right off the bat, which actually is pissing me off here. I don't want Taurus. I just want to, you know, attack the enemies and, you know, use my sweet-ass laser. But I know I'm not going to have the opportunity to do that because... Um, our spiders are just going to kill everything instantly. Where the heck was that chest we just had? You know I can't resist. If you know me, you know I can't resist. I knew it was going to happen. Yo, Taurus, you're going too fast. You need to slow down, man. That, I guess, helps. And sure, why not take Magic Mush as well? And Sad Onion. And Guillotine. That's what I get for saying I don't see any way this could get crazier. But it doesn't matter, because freaking Taurus is just going to be the dominant feature on this run. Unfortunately. We may occasionally get the chance to shoot. This is pretty cool, actually, I gotta admit. The fact that we're firing, like, near-continuously these two laser beams of death. I wish we could actually, like, use them more than this. <laughs> Didn't have to use the, you know, Taurus to start every room. Maybe there's a way that I could, like, disable Taurus. Now we're firing less frequently, but we're firing like triple lasers, so that's pretty sweet as well. I'm into it. The speed at which we destroy these rooms is ridiculous to me. And we can pretty much do this endlessly. Uh, and this is even without our main means of dealing damage, so this is up there as far as most powerful runs we've ever had, without a doubt. Absolutely, we'll take the 69 effect. I know it's not technically a 69, but uh, you should know by now that that doesn't bother me. We got lucky we got one shot off there before they... Uh, Taurus us up. There we go. Did it again. This is like the easiest win of all time. This is why I was so happy with that Eden start when we got it. I was like, man, this, it's hard for this one to go wrong, especially when we walk into our first item room and it just gives us, uh, you know, piercing shots immediately. But I never would have expected it would turn into this, this debacle. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to even shoot Blue Baby. Slightly disappointing, but it's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. It's like our ninth trip through the chest, and uh, we still have, or we're still only at uh, 38 minutes of game time. Well, we did manage to kill him before we had to shoot, which is good. I was worried we might even break a sweat on that room. I wish we had a chance to shoot. I'm not going to sweat it, but we have this like great little like, you know, Celtic cross pattern going on here. I don't get a chance to deal with it. I don't get a chance to use a little brimstone. Not that that's that relevant. Uh, might as well. If only there was a way to get rid of Taurus, without using the D100 and completely ruining our run. Also, the D100 didn't show up. It had ample opportunity to, so don't put that evil on me. Maybe we'll get a chance to fight Blue Baby. 
We're not, like, absolutely destroying every single room, and this is a good indicator. But now we have so many spiders and flies that I'd be expecting it's, you know, conceivable to not uh, get a chance. What are you doing, Bob's brain? Oh, we were close. And we're done. Great run! Uh, that was a fun one. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.